So I recently started this currency channel and I was thinking of ways to bring awareness. Now, I had this idea, what if I could break up all the concepts of Bitcoin and blockchain into 60 second sections and upload them to TikTok? So my challenge is, I wanna be able to explain Bitcoin on TikTok and it's challenging because to get a point across in only 60 seconds, you have to get your thoughts out really quickly. Additionally, on TikTok, the form of content is typically comedy and it is also very low budget. So doing educational material was a little bit challenging. But let me know what you think and be sure to follow me on TikTok. It's currency where the E is just a Y. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's get started. And yes, I do plan on doing more of these TikTok videos. Uh, just wanted to try it out at first. I got about 11 followers in the nine videos I posted. And I think I got about 2000 views, which isn't incredible, but it's a start. Have you heard of Bitcoin? Bitcoin is a completely digital currency. Bitcoin started off worth nothing, but now you can see it's worth almost $9,000. It's crazy. The people that got on early obviously made a crap ton of money because they bought it for nothing or earned it, and now it's worth $8,000 each. With normal money, such as USD, when you send someone money, it goes through a bank. The magic of Bitcoin is that you can bypass the bank. So if instead you're using Bitcoin, you don't need the bank, you just send it directly to the person. The way this works is rather than having that bank over there, we have a bunch of different computers, what we call nodes, and these work together to make this system possible. As an example, if you were to send me Bitcoin, that is actually put on each and every single one of these nodes. This is often called a distributed ledger. All of these transactions are stored in groups known as blocks, and these are chained together in what's known as the blockchain. We literally just scratched the surface, so stay tuned for more. Yo, what's up everyone? In this episode, I'm gonna be teaching you how to buy Bitcoin. We are going to use what's known as an exchange where you can trade your real money for Bitcoin. You can't see it because it's digital. We're going to use Coinbase and you can use my referral link. If you spend a hundred bucks, you'll get $10 back. Now, my screen looks disgusting because I actually have a defective screen. Thanks a lot, Apple. When you get there, all you gotta do is go over here and click get start. Focus, get, get that one. Get there, get started. Now when you sign up for a fiat, this is what's known as fiat currency, to cryptocurrency exchange, you have to give some information about yourself. This is thanks to what's known as KYC laws. Basically some boring law stuff saying that people blah 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 have to know who you are, okay. After that you can just go up here and hit trade, buy as much Bitcoin as you want, connect a payment source, and then buy. The great thing here is that you own the Bitcoin so you can always sell it, assuming the price doesn't change a lot, you can get your money back. And I'm out of time, thanks for watching. So let's say you took your money, you bought cryptocurrency, and now all your money is stuck on the computer. How do you get that money back? That's what I'm gonna be showing you guys in this video. Now the secret here is you always need to go through an exchange. You can sign up with this link here, and you can get your Bitcoin in here, and you need to transfer it, not to Bitcoin, but to United States dollar. So we go from Bitcoin to United States dollar. Not to be confused with USD coin, we need United States dollar, not USD coin. So all you gotta do is slap this trade button and select sell and then go from Bitcoin to cash. When you do this, you'll have a balance in United States dollar. You can select that and you can go to withdraw. Then all you gotta do is put where you want it to go, put an amount such as 202 and then continue. It's gonna take some time, so you gotta be a little bit patient, but not too long. Hit confirm and there you go. Now, if you got Bitcoin in a wallet and you need to get it on an exchange, all you gotta do is go to your portfolio, hit receive and then send to this address. What's going on everybody? I just did a Q&A about Bitcoin and people would ask me anything and someone asked me, is it worth it? And definitely it's worth it, but let's go in a little bit more detail because that's so vague. From a social standpoint, yes, it's worth it because what if we got rid of these? Are you gonna know how to survive? There's definitely a real possibility that we can get to a world where there is no such thing as fiat currency. From a technology standpoint, of course it's worth it. Anytime you can learn more about technology, you advance your career and you protect yourself from getting scammed when it comes to the new technology out there. From a financial perspective, is it worth it? Absolutely yes. I'm not saying you have to day trade cryptocurrency, but if there's a chance that Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies are the future, you definitely want to get your hands on some. There's numerous ways to make money and get started with Bitcoin. For example, Bitcoin mining. You can also make money from duplicate coins from hard forks, and no, that's not a fork made out of obsidian. You can also make money from trading or from buying and holding. Just don't spend money you can't lose because it's experimental. Hey, what's up guys? So I did a video on what Bitcoin is, and if you don't know what that is, just keep scrolling. This is, this is gonna be a little bit more advanced. 
or you can go check out that video on my channel. So this guy asked me, is Bitcoin trustworthy? Can we trust Bitcoin? And that's actually a loaded question. And it's kind of two part because yes, you can, but also no, you can't because of various reasons. So we're gonna talk about all of those in this, well, as much time as we can. We better get started, let's go. It's actually a really good question because trust is actually mentioned 14 times in the official white paper of Bitcoin. This means that Bitcoin was built around the concept of trust and there's a lot of things about it in here. So I think ultimately the answer will be yes, but right now, no. The reason Bitcoin works is because we remove trust from third parties and from customers. So we get rid of trust for third parties and customers and now we put our trust in the Bitcoin protocol. Similar to how if I didn't trust you, I would make you sign a contract for business we do. Bitcoin has been around a while, but it's still experimental and prices are extremely volatile. That plus all the hacks means not yet. Dude, what's up? So I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to know where your Bitcoin is going. So we're gonna get a little bit into behind the scenes. So this is what we're used to. You sending me money means you go through a third party. Maybe it's Venmo, maybe it's Apple Pay, maybe it's a bank, but somehow we need to go through a third party. Bitcoin changes things because now we can skip that third party and the money can come directly to me without that third party, which changes things. But how do we know if the money is going to me and how do we actually do that? When you have a Bitcoin wallet, you can send money and all you have to do is enter a Bitcoin address. It'll look something like this or you can use a QR code. So to illustrate, this here is my beautiful Bitcoin wallet and I have multiple addresses, one address for each transaction. So when you send me money, it goes to an address and each time you send me money, you get a new address. By the way, you're ugly, bro. It's your responsibility to know that address is available to me. Don't send it to the wrong place, it's not reversible. The Bitcoin will show up and you can see it in a blockchain explorer. Yo, what's going on everybody? This episode, we're gonna be answering a question. Would I invest in Bitcoin myself? And this comes from a, a girl on Instagram who asked me, Burnett underscore coder. So thank you for the question and let's get into it. So yes, I'm going to look into investing in Bitcoin and there's various different strategies to do this. One is buy and hold. So you just buy a bunch of cryptocurrency and you just hold it as long as you can. The other is trading, which is a more active buy and sell very rapidly kind of approach. We always hear stories about people who've gotten rich doing this. And the reason this is, is because it's so volatile, meaning that the prices go up extremely high and extremely low, which makes it a very high risk investment. This being the investment chart, some people invested up here and sold down here. Ooh, ouch. The other issue is we don't really know the future of Bitcoin and there have been lots of hacks. It's very experimental still. So if you wanna be safe, if this was all of your investments, maybe keep one fourth of it to Bitcoin. Or instead you could do a bunch of different cryptocurrencies and have a variety. So yes, but I'm gonna be very careful. So I'm gonna do the impossible and try to explain blockchain in 60 seconds. So if you think of a database or like an Excel sheet, you have records that go this way and they just go on and on and on and on forever. But what if instead we split that up into discrete sections? So now instead of storing everything in one giant table, we have individual blocks. And these things are cryptograph ugh, that's a big word, cryptographically linked. Hence the word blockchain. The amount of data in here depends on the blockchain, but in the common example of Bitcoin, you might get a thousand or two thousand transactions in one particular block. So a transaction being one person sending money to somebody else. But blockchains aren't just limited to cryptocurrencies, they can pretty much be used for anything. And in fact, the data is duplicated on numerous nodes, so it's just a form of a distributed database. As time goes on, new blocks are added. And this happens at different intervals depending on the blockchain. For the common one of Bitcoin, it's about every 10 minutes. That's the basics. Hey, so is it possible for me to predict the price of Bitcoin and become a millionaire? Hmm, that's what we're gonna talk about today. Yo, what's up, boy? I'm your Bitcoin pro. All you gotta do is buy my program. I got these price predictions, and let me tell you what, I'm right at least 50% of the time. <laughs> yeah. This is what you'll hear anytime you research anything on Bitcoin. There's always some Bitcoin expert who knows the secret way to make millions. And I'm not saying it's impossible, but more than likely it's, it's unrealistic. Because do you think you could predict any of these? I mean, this is obviously very volatile. Not to mention there's been at least seven exchange hacks just in 2019. There's all of these vulnerabilities. And there is at least 16 other competitive cryptocurrencies. And the Bitcoin price is definitely affected by news. And last time I checked, Bitcoin is only 8,500. So yeah, can you predict it? Not really. 